Hi everybody. Thanks for joining us here on Geek Tech Industries live stream. Hi folks, how's it going? Stick is here. Valley here. And uh, we are just getting ourselves underway in our weekly live stream. So thanks again for joining us. Um, wow, wow, wow. Today is the day. Today is today is the day for a couple of things. So first and foremost, of course, was guns for guns hire. Guns for hire. Guns for hire. Oh man, and and. I still haven't, I haven't quite opened mine, so, so there you go. Guns for hire. There you go. Down. Down, this way? Here, here, here. Up, up. God. Is there. that better? Okay. Yes. I'll remember next time. Yes. So there you go. Guns right. for hire. Trying to reflect it a bit. Everybody. Yeah, up, turn, there, yeah. Yeah. Uh, beautiful. Oh, yay. Yeah. Thanks, Bally. Couldn't do it without you. So yeah, Guns for Hire dropped. I haven't opened mine. Valley has though. Oh yes, we're flying Guns for Hire tonight. Oh yes. It's time for some new, beautiful, scum, soon to be crazy meta style stuff. I hope we'll Please, see. This yeah, is you so know what? Good. Honestly, the uh, Kraz. I might not have the meta here, but I just love what's about to happen. This is so good. I just love that you're like fully committed. 100% committed yeah. to this tonight. We're like, doing this. Two Karazas and a Star Viper? We're doing this. It's time. Yeah. I love the Karaz Starfighter. As we were just mentioning immediately before going live, I love this ship. Yep. I always have. It unfortunately is a, under, a little bit underwhelming on its dial. It flies mm -hmm. kind of like an X-Wing, so it's not super amazing. Um, it's not bad, but it's not super amazing. I, I just love the look of it. It is uh, that a little bit fragile. That title now, though. Oh, that title. Vaxi. Oh, man. That's, well, it's, it's, that Vaxi, is going to make that yeah. ship so flexible across all of its pilot skill variants. So did you manage to adjust my points there? Does it say uh, what yes. I asked you? Okay, yeah, no, so, give, give me a minute. Uh, um, I'm just going to hyper us into yeah, the, the battle zone get, here. Well, hold on. Let's Before you do that, let's carry on. So guns for hire. What else today? Oh, oh. Um, actually, I guess it was yesterday. Technically, that the errata the dropped. errata dropped, the FAQ dropped, and oh my god, you'd think it was made of salt. There's been some nerfs, huge, and there's been a lot of clarification. Big chunk of the nerf right there. Hello, jumpy. Hello, jumpy jump. Jump master. Big nerf. They got hit hard with the nerf bat. Yeah, one of two ships that I would say got nerfed pretty much the hardest. Yep. So no tour slots. Yep, gone. Period. Gone. Both of them. <laughs> Used to pack two torpedo slots, and you know, now it's got none. You know what? I'm actually okay with that. It could be worse. Yeah. Uh, How could no, it be worse? Uh, they took away the... They could have taken the astromech slot, Stickus. Astromech slot. Yeah. That, uh, about that. About so, yeah, that. They took away the astromech slot as well. Whew. And, that hurts. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, uh, it was. It's weird. I think it's still going to be a very powerful ship. I, th I still think sure. that um, pilot skill three with an EPT and a, uh, a crew slot is going to is still quite powerful. Contract scout is still great for its cost. It didn't need all the extra stuff. That was just too much. It was too much gravy. Yeah. So um, I've decided that hey, you know what? Despite the nerf, Den Dengar is going to be just awesome. So gonna make it work. I'm, I'm bringing Dengar and You're Ventus. bringing the nerfed ship, and I'm bringing the buffed ships. Yep. Okay. Let's see how it plays. So, He's still Dengar. Yeah. Let me warp or hyper us into the. Uh, what was the zone. other nerf? Oh Let's God. talk about Bigs. Bigs. That once per Our man turn, Biggs. once per game now, you get to choose to use Bigs. His ability, you choose which combat round you want to use it, and that's it. Once yeah. per game. Once it's spent, it's spent. Uh huh. If he's still alive afterwards, he's just a T-65. Yep. With no abilities and a pilot skill of five. But, if he's still alive. If you build him right, he's still two, maybe three turns. Pair him with Lorik to give him that extra defense. Give him selflessness. So that if he survives the first salvo, he can then go, oh, that's fine, I'll take those ones too! Yeah. And then he blows up. Yep, you can keep him. You can keep him alive for probably You're just going to have to use him a lot different now. Well, He's now you have to be strategic. Really strategic about when you use him. And I mm -hmm. like that. Um, I really felt that Biggs was kind of rebel easy mode. It made the four ship uh, rebel meta last way too long. Yeah. Way too long. And I think that I don't think it's going to get rid of it, but I think it is going to Alter. allow more room in the design space. Yeah, it's going to change some things. Yeah. So 
I should have, uh, should, list should be up now. And uh, so, Bally, why don't you tell us what you're flying? Oh my now? gosh. Okay, so as you may be able to see if the points are listed there, I've actually got on the table right now a grand total of 113 points between yeah. three ships and upgrades. Because this man's insane. <clears throat> That's How, right. Valley? How can you possibly do that? <laughs> Let's start at the bottom with the Star Viper. Thweek in the Star Viper. Now, Thweek is one of the new pilots with a new amazing ability that we'll come back to. But with the new title for the Star Viper, Star Viper Mark II, it's a minus three point cost to equip it. So that right there is minus three offer cost. Gives me three of those extra points over 100. Yep. Then there's the Vaxi title, which belongs to the Karaz Starfighter. And this is just... Everything reduced by one! Every <laughs> single upgrade card that you equip is reduced by one cost to a minimum of zero. And you can equip three separate ship modifications. Yep. So, wow. Wow. <laughs> so on so Talonbane Cobra So much flexibility Good old Talonbane with his double range bonuses Has auto thrusters Auto thrusters my, thr my friend Free turn up Plus engine upgrade mm -hmm. And vectored thrusters oh, He's gonna oh. get around okay. Push the limit Oh now I see why you did vectored thrusters Okay. And a glitter stim and thread tracers because free thread tracers. Free thread <laughs> tracers. Every single card I just mentioned, every single one, cost one point less. So that was five cards oh for God. five points. Then on Victor Hell, new Karaz fighter pilot, also running Vaxi and his free thread tracers. He's got guidance ships to run them. But he's also got a stealth device. Mm -hmm. Vectored thrusters. A scavenger crane and expose. Mm, now so the scavenger crane to pull his thread tracers back, I would assume, but also possibly and to pull or his stealth, stealth device, device. Okay. depending. And what and what does Victor do? Victor, after when he's defending, or sorry, after he's defended, if he did not roll exactly two defense dice, he stresses the attacker. Okay. So if I'm at range three, you're going to get a stress. If I have stealth device, you're gonna get a stress. If I expose myself, heh, I'm definitely you're gonna, gonna get, get a stress. stress. Woo Put that away. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then Thweek coming back to oh man, I love Thweek. They have the ability uh -huh. of the century. I'm mind blown. So I can't wait to see how this guy blows. Thweek has a kind out. of a weird paired ability, which is during setup before the place forces step. You may choose one enemy ship and assign shadowed or mimicked condition card to it. Okay, so what's shadowed do? Shadowed. Thweek is treated as having the pilot skill value you had after setup. The pilot skill value of Thweek does not change if your pilot skill value changes or you are destroyed. Now, you is being the opponent this the card opponent is assigned to. That is assigned to me. Correct. Yeah. So if I were to assign this to, say, Dengar, who is a pilot and skill of nine. And then you got cockpit. Nope, hold on. So if I assign this to Dengar, who is pilot skill 9, I become pilot skill 9, yeah. and that's it. Registered to it for the rest of the game. If I get if damaged cockpit, you stay at 9. If you're I damaged cockpit, you stay at 9. That's right. However, it's after the place forces step that it triggers. So if you have veteran instincts on there to push them to 11, I push to 11 with you. Yep. Yeah, because veteran instincts happens before. Um, it's... I well, no, adaptability is after I place, and That's so right. it's after the place forces step, adaptability still works too. That's right. You or it still works I for adaptability. I have to pick before, but it says, is treated as having the pilot skill value you had after setup. Yeah, so after adaptability would trigger. After adaptability or veteran instincts have triggered. Yeah. So then there's mimicked. Thweek is treated as having your pilot ability. So whatever the printed ability is yep. on your card. Dengar's Return Whoa. Fire, Ventress's Stress. Oh, thank... No, you can't, because or... it says Mobile Firing Arc. Ah, ah yay yeah. wording! It's not, wording. not in yep. arc, right? So. so you know what I'll be Woo. picking there. Yeah, Woo. Dengar. <laughs> <laughs> so Thweek cannot ca uh, apply a condition card by using this pilot ability, mm -hmm. so you can't... You know, use Kylo Ren or something. Okay. 
And Thweak does not lose your pilot ability if you are destroyed. Okay, so he l learns either your pilot skill or your pilot ability for the game. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. And I, I decided I'm going to fly the Saltmobile today. Saltmobile. The Saltmobile. Um, so I brought out Dengar and Ventress. And so this is a post-nerf Dengar. No droid. Uh, technically, the, the FAQ hasn't actually come into effect for tournament play yet, but hey, you may as well fly it now. So it's no droid, no torps. Um, still going with the Punishing One title. I went with Push the Limit, Four Lom, Countermeasures, and Ion Dischargers from the new Guns for Hire. This is going to be different. And I think this is going to be fun because I'll be able to take my Ion token from Dengar to prevent you from spending your token during my attack. And then when I receive that Ion token, I might just go, yeah, I'll get rid of it. Hey, what are you going to do about that? With that and, and make you choose with the Ion Dischargers. Because the Ion Dischargers, if you guys aren't familiar, it says after you receive an Ion token, you may choose an enemy ship at range 1. If you do, remove that Ion token. Then that ship may choose to receive one Ion token. If it does, discard this card. So if they choose to take the Ion token, I get rid of the Ion Dischargers. Yeah. If you... Don't choose to take the Ion token. I keep the Ion Dischargers and, and use them keep again. using them. Yep. <laughs> so I think that'll be interesting because I don't necessarily need to use it on the first Ion token that I choose. I take. I can wait until I get my second. Okay, so uh, I'm 99 mm -hmm. points. You and are 113. 113. <laughs> Actually, Actually, 100. 100. So, uh... Amaze balls. Let's see here. So amazing. Uh, I'm going to... Can I give you initiative, I guess? So that your potential double nines... Um, Shoot we'll move, first? No, we'll move before me. Oh. I can potentially move out of arcs. Gotcha. Push limit, he can barrel roll and do all kinds of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're giving me initiative. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Hold on. God. Um. No. No. I need to shoot. I will take initiative. Okay. There you go. First hunk of debris. Let me make sure. Rock. That. Right there. Rock around the clock. Okay. Mm, and uh, that one. Yeah. And. That one. Yep, you're good. Oh, let's break that lane up, thanks. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Outside lane! You know, I like this. It's a nice NASCAR zone you built for me here. Sweet. Uh, yes! During oh setup, before plays forces step, I may choose one enemy ship and assign the shadowed or mimicked condition card to it. Do you have the token? I, I sure do somewhere. <laughs> somewhere, he said. Where did I just put that token? It's gonna be in this one. So which which are you choosing though? I am going to. Who? Can I take Dengar's double shot ability? Or... I really think I am. This will be very interesting. This is three very aggressive ships. Now. Yeah, I'm gonna mimic. You're gonna mimic Dengar. Dengar. Okay. Bam. Oh! There it is. There's the token. It's yeah. a tiny little tweak. Boop. A little tweak that follows me around. Tweak, tweak. I got your skills, yo. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can do anything. You can do better. All right, place him. <clears throat> when you're ready. Hmm. I'm just gonna catch up on the chat, see what everybody's saying. So, uh, yes, Valley is the one who needs to tie his shoes. Yep. No, it was just one of my <laughs> laces was a little bit long, and I was stepping on it, and it was driving me nuts. It's Lee. Yeah. Oh, you know me, Lee. 
Oh yeah. man, yes. Uh, Tweak being able to copy a friendly ability would be super amazing. It would be too powerful. That I think. would be, I think, be too powerful. Yeah, too meta. Um, specifies enemy six. ship. Six. That's why this specify enemy ship. Yep. Yep. That way, honestly, I like the flexibility of that. Being able to choose what's appropriate. Yeah. For what you're going to be facing, right? Whether it's PS, being able to keep from being out PS, for example, or to keep somebody's ability in check by countering it with the same ability. And it's a you may. Yep. If you, you know, throw out a tie swarm of all Academy ties with no nothing else to go with it or something ridiculous like that with all You can just be like, I fly four blank. Yep, I fly four with no pilot skill. Yeah. Oh, I guess uh, you're seven. Right? He's not. He's not bi'd, right? No. No. Nope, his special not. is exposed. That's right. He just no, wants to flash me. His ball special the is the defense dice. No, I mean his uh, his EPT. Oh yes, his EPT is exposed. He likes to expose all the time. Ugh, gross, man. Keep it to yourself. All right, Dengar. Whoop. Oh, that. don't you lose my token. No, 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 Brand no. New. I know, right? <laughs> Better not lose that token. <laughs> Alright, we'll see if I actually did a good build on post-nerf Dengar here. Oh, my shields. I have three ships, so I have three shields. Yerp, yerp. Yeah, I've got my shield stacked up. I'm just getting myself Two, dialed in here, sir. Three. Man. And I never did place my Cobra. I guess I should have placed that before you, technically. Uh, no, I haven't yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You took initiative. That's right. I decided to probably be stupid. Oh, and I set my arc to the front with Ventress to start. No, I set my arc to the side. Okay, I think I am ready. Ready? No, <laughs> not even close. So, Talonbane has the boost and barrel roll <clears throat> capability? Yes. Okay. And so Victor he... just has barrel roll. Talonbane turns into a freaking arc dodger. That's awesome. Yeah. And he's got auto thrusters. It's just like Fen Rao right now. Yeah. He's a push Fen. Not quite as defensive. Not quite. Yeah. Better at range uh, at range uh, three than Fen, but not as good at range. Not one. as good at range one for defense, but as good on attack. Woo okay. Good luck, sir. I'm gonna start good that luck. timer. Get the get Thweek flying. All right. Well, Thweek's packing advanced sensors. Advanced sensors. Yes, sir. <clears throat> oh man, I've had something bothering me all day. There we go. What's that? Oh, your throat. Okay, so before I reveal my maneuver dial. No, yeah. no, I won't perform a free action right now. I okay. Just, I'll, I'll reveal <laughs> You're going to do that action I'll, later. Yeah, right? I'll do a forward two instead. Okay, and then you're going to barrel roll with that weird thing. And then I'm going to barrel roll. So Star Viper Mark II, they upgraded the barrel roll capabilities on the Star Viper. Now you, but you have to barrel roll with that bank template now. Yes. Okay. That's crazy. It's almost like a barrel roll and a boost in one because of the way it tilts you as well. Yeah, kind of. Pretty neat. Interesting, interesting, so interesting. There we go, Ventress. Uh, Ventress is going to go forward three. Do 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 do. 
Do 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 do. All right. Action is going to be uh, a foe. I'm just going to actually attempt to target lock first. So where is your gun? Uh, pointed this way. That's okay. sorry, it rotated when I picked her up. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that's not going to happen. I know. I know. And she's going to focus. Seven. He's going to go for two. Mm -hmm. And take a focus. All right. Dengar is going to do a forward four. Attempt a target lock. Nope. Uh, so he's just going to take a focus. I'm just going to tuck Thweek in the back corner there. All right. And <clears throat> again, a 4 2. Mm -hmm. Decided to slow roll first turn. Mm hmm. Um, we will sweep and set. Uh, yeah. I take a focus, sweep, set. I'm I'm kind of concerned as well. Time for the joke. This is not this Dengar doesn't have as many teeth as the old one, but you still got two sets of them. So <laughs> there is that. <clears throat> you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so this time advanced sensors allows me to perform an action first. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna barrel roll. <laughs> wow, look at that! I was like, he can't barrel roll. He's not. Never mind. <laughs> and then bank one. And then bank two. Oh, nice. Okay. 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 Huh. I'm going to do a turn three. I knew that would be close. Uh, she will focus and then push the limit for an evade. All right. Victor is going to bank two. And he has engine upgrade. No. No. He vector has thrusters. vector thrusters. Okay, so he barrel rolls. And that's what he's going to do. Uh, everybody's opening up on Ventress, eh? Interesting. Really? Oh, yeah, I forgot. They got that turn one. So you'll avoid the rock. This should serve me about right. And no push on him. Nope, no push this turn, eh? Uh, Dengar, bank three. Um, he is going to target lock Victor and then push the limit for a focus. Look at that little collection of tokens he's got there. Quite the collector, huh? Right. <laughs> so Talon Bane is going to bank two as well. 
because mm-hmm. I wasn't sure where I was going to go or where you were going to go. Ooh, right into Dengar's face. I should have target locked Talonbane. <clears throat> and let's see. Talonbane is going to. I didn't pull into any target locks, but I think I'm going to target lock and focus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I focus, I target lock, I push the limit. <clears throat> Gonna grab a. I got a target lock here if you, if you need it. I got one. Okay. Whew! Okay, um, start of combat. I pop my countermeasures, dropping your target lock. Okay. And I pop my glitter stone. Okay, you just want to make sure you got all the focuses all through the round. I understand. <laughs> um, another stress then, sir. Yes, add another stress. Okay. Okay, uh, you shoot first. Thank. Oh, thank God for countermeasures. Do I? You have initiative. Oh, I took initiative, don't I? Didn't I? Yes, okay, did. so uh, Dengar is going to roll four dice. Uh, at Talon Bane, Talon Bane or... I have to. Yeah. I have to. Okay. I have to. I feel like I... Uh, oh, well. Uh, it's not bad. I'll... Sp- I'll spend the focus for three. Ah! Should have target locked Talon Bane. Oh, take three. Woo! Take what I can get. Could be a very quick game for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Talon Bane. Five oh, dice, buddy. I get three. You'll kill me on the There's return no focus. attack, though. I can't. I could kill you. Oh, you will kill me. I, I, it's a flat roll. I don't got my focus anymore, and I target locked the wrong guy. Oh, and I forgot my start of combat with Ventress. You sure did. Well, I'm definitely going to take what I can get, so Glitterstem's going to focus that up, and it's going to be four hits against... Uh, okay. ...against Dengar. And uh, two, so I'll take two on Dengar. So and, I'm going to uh, take my return shot. <clears throat> four dice flat rolled. Uh, nothing. Oh, nothing. Whoo. Nothing. Oops. Worth it after all. Worth it after all, he says. Worth it after all. Okay. Ah, that was terrible. Okay, seven. the rest of combat. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> what have uh, we I got here? I can't believe I forgot Ventress. Ah, I remember Range my glitter stem. Range one, and just for argument's sake, that is in fact range two. That is two. So you would have had a target, but range one. Well, it's range one or two. One or two. Either yeah, one okay. of those. Like, so, I would have stressed. Um, too late now. Yeah. That's fine. I'm I'm tanked up. Uh, yeah. This is Victor into Ventress. This is Victor into Ventress. Two? Two. That's a flat roll. Did I have anything oh. I can... Oh, I throw that one off. You gotta start tossing these in here uh, differently. Yeah. Uh, dang. Uh, so there's a focus. I'll spend the focus and the evade. So that's one, and that makes two total. And you add three? I add two. You add two. Okay, so I evade that. Uh, Ventress. Victor's got his stealth device up right now. Mm -hmm. Thweak has Dengar's ability. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw four dice at Victor L. Okay. I'll receive that stress. Oh, two hits. Two. Could be good. Another three dice. And I take one. You take one. Still the place falls. Well, that's better than nothing. All right. Uh, Thweak. Three dice. Thweak gets... Three dice. Get rid of my countermeasures there. Okay. 
It's one. And nothing. So one. Um, I take one. Yeah. Ah, nobody died in the opening salvos. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's figure out what the hell we're doing. I forgot to forlong. I forgot to Ventress. Okay. So I cannot remember. I cannot forget to do that again. Glitter stain is out. Oh, um, I received a stress, didn't I? Yes, you received a stress. second guess myself as well I think I've got it figured out I think I know where my, my guys are going what I need to do here oh, I'm so disappointed that I couldn't get those hits into Talonbane he's still got two health left Stress tokens flying around right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair amount of stress on the board here. Crazy go nuts. I love it. Okay. Tweak. Okay. Tweak is going to reveal a turn two. You're weak, Tweak. You're weak. Oh, I hate you, Tweak. I hate you so much. How much I hate you? I'll show you how much I hate you in a minute. Show me. And we'll <clears throat> take a target lock on okay. Ventress. Ventress is going to do a bank three to the right. Uh, she sheds a stress but receives another one for going on top of the debris. Roll a die, and she does not take any damage. And I think I'm just outside of Thweek's arc, too. But I think you're also just outside of mine. Okay. Your seven, sir. My seven, you say. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My seven does a turn one. Sorry. No worries. I'm all regretting my my life choices. So I will also take a target lock on Ventress. Okay. Uh, Dengar is going to roll forward one, and uh, I'd forgotten that I took initiative. Do, 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 do. Yeah, hold on. And then I just slide it. Slide it. Slide it on up. Boop. Bump. I shed my stress. Okay. Thank 
too. Uh, yeah, you just collide, buddy. I don't think you actually clear. I think I do. Mm, pretty sure you end up overlapping on the base there. Hold still. Trying to. Yeah, I guess that's close enough. Dang. Uh, you <clears> shed <throat> one of your stresses. I shed one stress, which means no action for me. Nope. Oh, nobody in arc. Okay. Um, start of combat. I'm going to place a stress on Victor. Okay. Talonbane has no shot. Nope. Vanguard's going to try and finish him off. One hit. One hit. Ah, all because I target locked the wrong ship to start. Um, Victor, range one into Ventress. Yes, sir. This is the truth. And I'm going to keep those and reroll these with my target lock and alpha. Alpha. There you go, sir. And they're no good. So two hits. Two hits. And uh, one, and I pull your stress for a second result. Okay. Uh, Ventress is going to shoot back four dice into Victor. And hey, that ain't bad. Depends on your perspective. Two hits and a crit. You're going to roll two. I'm going to roll three. Why? Oh, yeah, no, my stealth device is done. Yeah. And one. So one, so you take a hit and a crit. Damage oh! Crit. I don't know how that's going to affect you, actually. Um, weak. Oh, man. This is the one that I wasn't sure. No, you're out. Woo! Woo! Out. It's the best way to just get away from Dengar's ability is just get away from Dengar's ability. As you can see. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess that's it. We sweep and set. Uh, getting away from Dengar's ability just means you're not shooting Dengar. <laughs> it's not there really getting away too. from it. It's no, it means just... you're not shooting Dengar in the face. Yeah. He gets really mad when you shoot him in the face and he immediately shoots back. Yes. So damage cockpit. You're worse. now at zero. That's fine. Tweak can easily maneuver around anything you throw at him there. Uh, I haven't even needed to do the four law ion dischargers thing yet. I, I really want to try and make that work, but. Been a lot of tokenless combat. Yeah, it has. Mm, where the hell is Thweet going? I the, still the combination, haven't answered that myself. The combination of advanced sensors and that new title with the weird barrel roll is like anywhere he wants. Where do you want? Env envision an end place for him. Now walk it back. What maneuvers do you have to do to get there? So what I do with Poe with intensity and BB-8 right now is like, okay, I want to be over there. If I do this and then this and then that, no, this and then this and then this. There we go. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Hello, Drossel. Thanks for joining us. I think I know. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know either. Go. No, I don't. You don't. I you really not. You not just... go. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Trust me. No, I think I will try this instead. Okay. I'm just, I'm just pouring myself some milk here. Okay. 
That's ridiculous, but that's what it's going to be. Uh, all right. Start with your zeros. So starting with my zero, um, he does a turn one yep. towards Ventress. going to <clears throat> he's going to expose himself no god reducing his agility by one no! and increasing his Kay. attack dice okay then the star viper yes so it's weak before you reveal he's going to advance sensors yeah and do a barrel roll Oh my god. What? Okay, yeah, I'll hold that for you. You Yeah, right right there. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I can't believe okay. this. You can take the barrel okay. roll. Okay. So he barrel rolls in there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Where where else are you going, Thweek? And then I'm gonna reveal my maneuver and inertial dampeners on it. And stop right there. I okay, throw, right throw there. a stress in. And I take a stress. I yeah, I don't even know how to feel about that. Ventress is, is going to do a hard turn three. And shed a stress. Damn. That was pretty freaking cool, though, dude. Nah. I, I was to, expecting you to also then do a turn up arc. into there. I was kind of debating uh, I on shed it. one of my stresses. No action. Dingo. Our turn three, I think, is pretty much the only thing that would have completely gotten you out of my arc at this point. And, and that's this, the pretty right. much the maneuver that I always do. Uh, hard turn one. From Dinga. I'm sadly not doing these guys justice at the moment. Oh, shat. Oh, no, good. I thought that was going to overlap the rock for a moment. Uh... He's going to focus. And I don't even need to push. So I bank two. Mm -hmm. Take a target lock. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Talon Bane doesn't get a shot. Um, oh man, I almost want to go for Tweak because you're not facing me now. Uh, no, I'm going to go for Victor though. Four dice. That's where my target lock is. Wow, I'm definitely going to need that target lock. Thank God for that. So there's a hit and a crit, and I'll spend the focus for another hit. And I'm good. I evade one. I take a stress. Take the hit and the crit and explode. And yeah, you take a stress though. Pressure control fire and kaboom! Oh, whew. Okay. Oh, I forgot the Ventress. Okay, uh, Ventress now, range one on Tweak, uh, four dice flat roll, uh, two hits. Ooh, two hits. Oh, I got some hits in Tweak. And yeah, I don't get auto thrusters, so. Nope. <clears throat> um. I don't think Tweak has a shot. Nope. I don't think so. Um, we can measure for it, though, just in case for return fire. But no. Nope. Nope. And no shot otherwise, so. Okay. Um, sweep and set. I will flat out admit it's not my best piloting going on here right now, but these ships 
even though they've been upgraded alone, they're still not quite up to facing with the meta here. Even the nerfed meta. Maybe. I'll fly him again. I'll I think, try it again. I think you got a good build. I think we had some weird dice variants in the beginning there. Nah. Uh, I can't blame the dice. It's not my best flying. And I know it. Whew. Um... Yeah. It was next to my ship. I thought it was mine for a minute. Oh, I saw it was Karaz and put it back down. I have no idea what your actual maneuver is. Doesn't matter. Uh, all right. Okay. Reveal to floor two. Okay, shed stress. Ay, ay, ay. And mm -hmm. yeah, I guess I'll barrel roll out like this. Oh, I see what you're doing. Getting set up to. I guess. Turn hard next turn. I guess. I like that. Okay. Uh, Ventress is going to do a hard turn three. Is going to shed her final stress. Um, is going to... Acquire a target lock on Talonbane. Uh, and then push the limit for a focus. Uh, I'm going to do a hard turn one with Dengar. Stress. That was about right, isn't it? Yeah, okay. approximately. Um, he's going to acquire a target lock and then push the limit for focus. And he's going to oh, collide right into you. Oh, that's almost disappointing. Oh, no collide. Oh, yes, bot! No I thought that was going to be a collision too. So that means, oh, dude, you could boost out of there. Yeah, and then you're just going to shoot me, and I won't get any shots on you again. But you'll get auto thrusters. But I'll get no shots against you again. You'll just have another free round of attacking me with both of your ships. Okay. I've already lost. I'm at least going to shoot at you on my way out the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, fair. That's fair. I mean, really, what else can I do at this point? You're clearly overwhelming the shit out of my ships. <laughs> Look at the state of my current. Look yeah, there's a lot of damage current. flung out you there You still right have now. shields up. I do. Like, it's... the best I can hope for is to go for at least, like, half points or something. So I'm just going to turtle up. Focus. And, and, yeah, I guess you don't even need to PTL for anything. Nope. There's really no point in PTL. Because you can't take an evade or nothing. All right. No. Nope. Uh, all right. Uh, end of activation, start of combat. I think you're both outside of my range now that I finally remember. I actually use Ventress ability. Yeah, I know your way out. Um, Dengar's going to try to put four dice into Talonbane. And I'll target lock the blank. And spin the focus. See, I would have been at range one no matter what. That's what you got. 
right? Yep. The best I could have hoped for was auto thrusters on two dice. I'm yep. dead no well, matter you're, what. You're going to get the I'm shot back. I'm at least going to get a shot back. You are going to get a shot back. So, that's it. I take you're all not, four. Yeah. Okay, and then you're five dice back, sir, with the target lock into focus. Yep. Three crits. Target. I'm taking at least one lock. crit then. Oh, holy smokes, dude! It might be a death blow, but damn! Okay, so. One, two, and then three crits. You're gonna roll defense. So oh, yeah, sorry. You get pass. one. So you evade one. You evade a hit. Take four crits. So two crits to my hull instead. Okay, that's fair. Major hull breach. Console fire. All hits are down or face up damage cards now. Okay. And uh, I start taking one damage a turn, and I am down to three hit points. And I am exploded. You are exploded. Um. Oh yeah, I would get my, I'd exploded. get the return shot, but you're exploded. I'm. Ex you want to? You want to roll? I mean, I'm still there technically. <laughs> no, you want to deal more damage? Do it. Uh, roll the dice, man. You're not gonna get another shot. To return is gonna shot take, no matter him. what, that's obstructed. No matter where I measure that, it's obstructed. So, the range three obstructed on tweak. Uh, I'll spend the <laughs> focus for three hits. It's all up to you now, Tweak. So you get four dice with auto thrusters. I five dice with auto five thrusters. Dice with yeah. thrusters. And it's literally all auto thrusters. And you take two, you have one health left. Man. Wow. That was some bullshit rolls. <laughs> yes. I think I think you've had some weird dice luck to, uh, this game. That was honest. definitely some bullshit rolls. Five and get none. <sighs> okay. Sweep and set. So you now, Star Viper, on your one hit point. Way to freaking go. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's trying, man. He's trying. He's doing the best he can. What the hell was that? It's not his fault. It's not his fault, man. That's the definition of his fault. What? That he's trying? Doing the best he can? Oh no, I need to oh god, I forgot about that console fire for a moment and I was like, I don't care. I can I can do a white maneuver. Nope. Nope, I need to clear that stress and not light myself on fire some more. Cause when I take that damage, it's a face up damage card. week turn two mm -hmm. and I will barrel roll and then hide behind that debris oh man he's slippery Slippery little devil. Go ahead. Uh, Ventress is going to do a forward four. Mm -hmm. That is a green maneuver, and I will shed my stress. Uh, she's going to focus and do a barrel roll. Uh, nope, no expert handling here. Although that would be actually pretty awesome on that ship. You've done She's it just going to focus. I like putting it on uh, the hound suit, to be honest. Uh, forward two from Dengar. And then he's going to flip down his console fire because he really hates when that weird turban thing that he wears lights on fire. Boop. All right. Um... And then I will push off of that for a focus. Okay. 
Uh, let's take that nice range. Oh, range nothing. Oh, range yeah, out. out. And range out. Damn it. Okay, so sweep and set. Balls, man. Yeah, you're telling me. Um, oh, that's, that's there we go. Well, that's what I was looking for. There it is. Okay. Bring it, Tweak. Those last couple hits in on Dengar. I mean, I'd like to. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I just realized I made the wrong maneuver just now. So. Because you're going to turn Dengar out. Ventress is going to do a forward one. She's kind of blocking Dengar here. He really wanted to turn this way, but he doesn't have a lot of options. So she's... Oh. I don't think I actually have it in my arc still. Uh, she's going to focus and push the limit for an evade. And Dengar is going to bank three, which may not actually be enough. No, I don't think I ever can get an action. Oh man, did I just screw myself? One can only hope. Oh crap. I think I'm flying off the board next turn. If there is an next turn. Uh, yeah, if there is. All right. Um, we are talking to Star Viper here. End of activation. Start, start of combat. I put a stress on Tweak. Are you at range two? Oh, God. I, I hope so. I thought I think I am. I think I am. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Dengar. Attempt. Range three. You get auto thrusters, sir. Uh, two crits. With auto. Three hits. Okay. I looked through that one. Uh, Ventress is going to put, try to put three dice into you. Um, uh, whoops. I'll spend it for another hit. And this is probably killing blue. That kills me. Good game. Good game. Do I get to return fire no matter what? Yes. Your return okay. fire triggers right I'm, now. I'm returning fire. <laughs> okay. Ah. Target lock. Oh, yeah, I have a target lock. Hey. Not like it's really going to matter. Yeah, no, it's, it's immediate. It's immediate. Two hits. Ah, there you go. And I'll spend the evade and I'll take one. Bah. Didn't even get your music. Started. Ah, woo! Okay, so I didn't get I didn't get to use my uh, four lumb iron disc. Hundred and thirteen points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wrecked. Um, a part of that I think was that you're just you're not used to flying them yet. Um, yeah, I think you might have made a couple of mistakes actually positioning and flying. Uh, Thweek, you did a great job with though. Picking Dengar's ability made me want to ignore him for as long as possible and run away from him. And you weren't anticipating me running away, I don't think. No, because you're a coward. <laughs> I'm a coward. Since when is Dengar a coward? Um, Dengar didn't run away. He turned in, man. No, Come on. It was Ventress you running, running away. You were running away. I'm running away. Okay, at the no, end. Ventress was just at doing the, end. the usual flying circles. You're right, maybe. At the end, uh, Dengar was running away. A yeah, you could have so. done a free sloop three and just turned back around into combat. No, sloop two. Sloop two. Sloop two, sorry. Even better. 
Shorter. Well, no, Keeps here, the problem was I couldn't get Ventress around him. I couldn't get Ventress to uh, turn far Should, enough. You shouldn't have flipped Ventress colliding. into him. I know, I just would have caused a big cl a cluster jumble, and so I had to come this way. And if I hadn't killed you this turn, you I'm really sure that Ventr uh, that uh, Dengar was going to turn and end up like that. You were going to end up off the board. And he was going to end up off the board, and game over for him. Yeah. Thweet versus... I didn't uh, even get him to... No, I got him to half points. Oh, I you got, definitely I got, got him damage half. on him. That's but. why I ran, because I was like, Oh, it's all crits now! <laughs> ah. Ah. It was, that was a fun list. Um, I'd like to see you fly that a bunch more and get more I'm going to fly it again sense. right now. Yeah? Yeah. That's what you're Round flying? two, we're awesome. going round two. Okay. I don't know if you're changing the, the other list you wanted I'm, to fly. I'm going to change up to that other one. So okay. you'll have some different differences. Different list. Yeah. All, All right. right. So thanks again for joining us, folks. Those uh, watching the archive, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, leave some comments. Let us know uh, what you saw about uh, how we flew. Uh, and uh, don't forget to check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash geektechindustries. Pick yourself up that Ewok insurance. Uh, we guarantee that you'll never be eaten by Ewoks. This offer is void on the Forest Moon of Endor. We also offer, of course, with that early access to our live stream and recorded archives, as well as uh, access to our Discord server, so you can give us some hints on how to fly these uh, um, Karazas a little better, maybe. I'm not so great with them either. Talon or Bane tends to just crumple when I fly them. Or you could talk about Imperium Server, which we Imperium. happen to have. Yes. Um, so they just had a major release to Alpha 7. It's a great sandbox game. If you guys are interested, go check out Imperium Galactic Survival on Steam. Uh, pick it up, add it to your wish list. Uh, we run a server. If you look in the server browser for Geek Tech Industries, uh, you can find us there. And uh, come join us and have some fun building in a giant sandbox uh, galactic adventure game. Come be nerds with us Come on be computers. Nerds. nerds! All right, so we're going to take a short break. Um, change up. I'm going to change up some lists, and we're going to probably have some coffee. And I'm going to come back and die in a fire with the same list again! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> right, guys, so we'll be back in uh, probably half an hour, and uh, so we'll see you guys next time here on the map.